The previous headmistress, Fitzgerald, believes we are now ready for the third trial. We know how hard these can be. <laughs> we're, we're very much aware. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment below, guys. Appreciate the support. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't subscribed already. And let's do the third trial. This is going to give me, like, brain ache, isn't it? The last one was Hello, tricky. Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. What? Really? As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How do we possibly find a way to get in? I mean, I'll give it a go, but... I guess we've got to maybe distract How will him in some access way? to the headmaster's office? Oh, this is horrible. Perhaps <laughs> Professor Fig will know what to do. Okay, Professor Fig. Let's go there first. Uh, okay, Professor Fig office. Let's go there right away. If he can maybe think of a distraction, that would help out massively. Yes, please. Uh, Professor Fig's classroom. Yeah, if he can come up with a distraction to get rid of the headmaster, we can waddle in, find the portrait, and begin the trial. Hello, Professor Fig. I need your assistance. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Uh, Believe it or not, about that. it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Professor Fig, your old dog. <laughs> old boss. Oh. 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 Hmm. Very good. How do you feel? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. Who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. 
thus far unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll friendly. See you there. I must admit, I was now to find the headmaster's house. Dick seemed to see the headmaster a bit more, actually. So maybe he does feature more in, later in the story. I don't know. Because it's quite a big reveal. Simon Pegg as the headmaster. Um, also being a black as well. And it hasn't really been. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Oh. Professor. I oh was boy. hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Spit well, it out. spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Uh, I will decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office <laughs> when it's convenient. <laughs> <clears throat> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect. Now, to determine which student gets this rather... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? What could the headmaster want? This is actually quite fun. Can I speak to him as well? Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. This is too much fun. Well, there's one for my diary. This is too good. Walking around as the headmaster. Hip hip. Everyone will be well behaved. Thank you. No more Quidditch for you. Maybe you I can allow Quidditch. Shine on those boots. Do better. Headmaster, here. Yeah. What could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, <laughs> wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Stupid child. Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Yes, I allow Quidditch. Again. It is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. I agree. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. <laughs> um, that would be unwise. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. 
and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Good day. What did we do to deserve him? Give me this password. I mean, out of my way, children. Stupid children. How long will this potion last? That's 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 my that's my question. Well, Hopefully long enough. Anything I've been doing. Where is my little house elf? Love how the whole of Hogwarts looks better, doesn't it? Was that, haven't I spoken to you already? How'd you get here? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I Professor <gasps> oh. a word, please. Oh no. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. Um, how, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might um speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Well, um, he's handling secrets, okay? Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> what happened? I could hear that armor going off in the background. What was going A on wonderful there? wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. Oh, look at this. to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Wow. Look at this food. Beautiful. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his well, He's got one here, look. There's no doubt in Scrope's mind. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. You dare to question me? I've changed my mind. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. Yes. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Mm. Oh, what is that? Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Um... I swear this is mentioned in the films. It's to do with strength. It's to do with family. The purity of blood. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. There we go. And, of course, Very close. as Master knows, in French. Ah, oh. yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but uh, <laughs> Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Toujours pur. Thank you. Okay. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Good. Can I? Oh, please let me announce. Let me Apologies, talk. Apologies, potions wearing off. Let's oh, get no. out of sight. Yeah. Run. Oh, it's running out. No. Oh, no. Are we okay? Hope we're okay. Oh. Ah, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Oh, oh, that does not sound good. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Oh, hello, hello. Aurora. All right, so we have the password. Pure blood in flinch. 
what, what level is it? Is this like a level one lock? It's level one. We should have space in our chest as well. Right, so it's above us, is it? Nope. I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Sebastian. I was talking to you later, Sebastian. Look how and magical this place is. Your field guide. I love it. Pleased to be included. Right, we can now access the headmaster's office. And luckily, he's at Hogsmeade right now, so that's good. Let's get straight to it. I love this staircase. Again, done an incredible job of capturing it so well. Do I just sound like I'm fanboying over this game every time we play it? I'm sorry. It's not very professional, is it? Can't help it. I like what I like. I wonder if the one of those um, demi guys in here as well. Might be worth having a, a, a little eye out. Keep an eye out for one, maybe. So I'm guessing once the doors open, we should have access all the time, I'm guessing. Or maybe not. Past the trophy room. Where the hell is this office? Where are we going? Oh, it's one of those like, rooms. This place is honestly a maze. Like, things look so close, but they're so far away. Okay, I think we're getting close now. Come on. Let's do it. Let's find it. No wonder I found it so difficult to find all the demi guys. Jesus. This must be the place. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. All right, let's whisper it. Come on. Third trial. Here we go. Pure. To do pure. And we are in. I wonder if it's going to look I anything like Dumbledore's. All the elite wizarding families have a motto. Yeah, it does actually. <gasps> it's basically Dumbledore, Dumbledore's office. Obviously, Dumbledore probably isn't alive yet, but still. That's incredible. Hello, oh. Hamora. We have a level two ability, so that's great. Let's try and open this. I'm also trying to open up as much stuff as possible because I don't know where we're going to come back here again. Hello, Amora. So this goes outside. Ooh, it's quite the view. Oh, level three, damn. I wonder what's in there. It's good to see you. We All made thanks it. to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Very well. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. <laughs> we shall speak when you are finished. You can imagine, just Has that's this the trial. Been under the headmaster's nose all this time. That must be the pedestal. Let's so hope we can get back in time before the headmaster comes back. That would not be good. Whew, I'm not sure I'm ready for this trial. Man, the last one was insane. Uh. Where am I? What? Professor Fitzgerald? I'm like a drawing. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. Maybe it's going to be a bit different. You we have... shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. What? You must move swiftly and cautiously. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them <gasps> at all costs. Where the hell am I? What's going on here? It's like a really bad field. Yeah, visible. This is the 
I did not expect this. Go for here? Nope. They seem distracted. Okay, good. At least it's something different. I guess it was exactly the same trial over again. That might be a little bit boring. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Horrible. I'd best Why move this while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. Are we okay? Oh my god, for the first time. Oh, that was horrible. I see a staircase straight ahead. Can I use a means of distraction? Perhaps we don't need to. Hmm. What a crazy looking filter. Someone's gonna think their computer's broke with a Oh boy. Or their iPhone. Why is this a trial though? A trial of stealth? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Still good. Still facing the wrong way. Lucky. Very, very lucky. Imagine if someone just skips through the video. What? <laughs> They're gone. What did I miss? Now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? So that's not Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Uh, uh. I'm really surprised I haven't been called That's yet. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. I still have my wand available. I don't know if this is all just about timing or. Can look away. That's it. I have red dots on my screen as well, my HUD. There's death. Nothing this way. No danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Great. Oh, that works. Thank you. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Time, isn't it? Who's that coming up here? Yeah, go somewhere else. Now's my chance. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Give me a sec. <laughs> Hit those crows. Is that like a checkpoint? <laughs> Maybe. That's the way forward. There must be more to this, I'm guessing, right? Oh, mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. It's not that impressive, though, because we've already got a spell that makes us invisible. Are we now completely invisible? Is that what you're saying? I wonder if we're going to start touching on the, the Deathly Hallows. Obviously, this cloak is a Deathly Hallow, isn't it? If I remember correctly. Right, where do we have to go? Uh, 
Hit me like back out this way, maybe? No? Maybe this is not the right way. So we now completely invisible? As in like they won't even spot me at all. Let's find out. They oh, can't useful. see me at all. Wow. I can get closer to them. Obviously you don't want to touch them, but yeah, we're invisible. Invisibility cloak. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? What if we can take this invisibility cloak with us into the real world? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Is that the Elden searching. Uh, Elden but this time wand. you will be unable to hide. What? Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. What? That's the Deathly Hallows. What's the last one? Um, oh, is that it? This way's another one. So this is the most powerful wand that ever exists, and there's no I've house. never felt such power. Oh wow! So we can now fight back. But oh, we have some new abilities as well. So I guess it's time to stop hiding and time to use this wand. Very impressive one. Ow. And the battle was done. What an incredible one. Please let me keep this. <laughs> oh, I think I might be asking too much. Definitely a reference to the... Uh, Bombarder. Defender. Sorry, Dougie. Defender. Defender. Bombarder. That's enough now. Uh. Descender. Block that, Scots. Descender. Eight thousand damage. Depulsor. Stupid one. Bombard. Defender. Descender. I'm waiting. <laughs> All right. Another wave, or are we done? We are done. But now what? This is not the trial I expected in this episode. Actually, most of the time, episodes don't really sort of go to, to plan. Not to plan, but to what I expect. Don't need any potions. But why would the game want to give me potions? Is there going to be an almighty boss fight? Potentially. Can I, can I use my... No, I can't use any other spells. Bombarder. 
Trying to take their natural fast. Defender, Bombarda. Wow, okay. Protego, Bombarda. Bombarda. Defender. Bombard. Oh, shoot. Wand is good. Okay. You. Only more in. What? Defender. Yeah. Form a 30 combo, damn it. Come on. Is there still more? Still got 22 potions available, so we should be okay. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I have to use a few there, though. There's a couple of times where it was... You have to dodge this right now, and I would dodge, and then I'd still get hit. Rebellion. It was, um... Yeah, a little bit annoying, I guess. It's all right. There's so many enemies and trolls. It's just... It's just bonkers. I feel like we're going to have to fight death at some point. Because that's normal. Now what? Is it done? Is it done? A simple stone. No. This must be oh, for me. This? It's not, hmm, interesting. What it seems. What? I'm carrying this though. She's gone. Neve's dead. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. Let us always honor her memory. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. Hello. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the okay. stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Can 
Can this shadow help me? So we're going to witness her memory. We're going to witness how she died. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Imagine if my game's just broken. It just stays like this the whole time. It's like, no! <laughs> I'm thinking it's like Remember a that trial. Remember that as but... you witness my memory. All right. I understand. Guess we're about to witness how she died. Maybe. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. She's just like wicked. It just got a wand down, start taking the bad, the bad memories, the bad spirits within you. That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. It's not right. She didn't ask you to do that. You weirdo. That was a weird memory. Speak to the newly arrived keeper. The last one, by the way, as far as I can tell. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. She just inhaled them and seemed to, like, enjoy them. It was weird. It was, it was disturbing, let's be honest. It was definitely disturbing. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. 
I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. The Hollowed Hero. Hmm. I say no more. That was, um, weird to witness. Very, very weird. Definitely got a few Voldemort vibes there. Like, the way she just sucked the pain out. I was like, yeah, this makes me feel stronger. It's a bit weird. A little bit weird. So the next quest is actually locked. So I'm guessing we need... Don't I have that already? Oh, we got rich level 24. Okay. Yes, I guess I am a little bit underpowered then. So we're going to get a little update from Poppy regarding the dragon egg we got from Fire and Vice. And yeah, I guess we're gonna go to the free broomsticks where apparently she is. Is she Magic here? Came. Hello, Puppy. You good? Is that a butterbeer, Puppy? This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. We should check one of them. I agree. Who else? Let's do it. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Um, I'd rather not say at the moment. If it's all right with you, I'd rather not say. At least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. We do. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay, thank you. So we're going to try and desperately try and find that dragon. Maybe. Ah. Uh. Do you want to talk to me again? Maybe? Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I spoke with him, yes. We're actually working together. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. <sighs> Don't tell are you. Him. Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aiden the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aiden passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. 
She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> um, what's, uh, on, what's on these letters? <laughs> is, it, is it private? Um, why do you, why do you have your box of letters there? Why, why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. All right. I should try and stop by. Sure, why not? I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. All right, we can definitely You'll have find a look. the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. A Please friend do indeed. give Dot my love. I don't think it would be far. I'll have a look on the map. We can try and get to obviously the next level, and then we'll be ready for the future episodes. Yeah, it's not far at all. Let's get there. Let's go. Mrs. Sprottle, where are you? It's like a place right out of a store. Bardo Revelio. Owned by now. Had by dark wizards, he was. Did you want some help, Dorothy? Um, hello? Are you... Are you Miss... Miss Sprottle? <laughs> hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Sirona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sorona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Sorona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. <laughs> Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. No problemo. Right, find the cavern. Shane Bardolf thought dark Is it magic far? Was no, it's alive. very close actually. Very close. All right. Is it I safe? <laughs> a hand in I think his we know the answer to that, don't we? Definitely know the answer. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. This is the entrance. Okay. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. I find the rarest beast in the forest, I do. Who's that? <laughs> that scared me. I was like, where's that voice rat. coming from? <laughs> so it does seem like the uh, the AI does seem to level up with you. Is that fair? Is that a fair assumption? I do sort of like the the map design where need to visit the, cave the first to enemies you, you, box of letters. you meet Perhaps are pretty I'll easy. Perhaps I'll find more while I'm there. Eventually it gets harder. Let's have a look around. Oh, well. See if I can find that box of letters. Let's have a look around then. Oh, That's down all here, the hawk lumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Revelio. To find five letters. Ooh. Can I hit that? Can I destroy that? Bombada. I can. Hello, fishies. Please don't need me. Are these letters going to be hard to find? Or is the game literally going to guide me there? I wonder. Whoa! Okay, I can see that. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. 
that. Nothing worth wearing, but definitely something we can sell. First letter must be down here. We're in the purple zone. Rebellio. Is this the way? Let's back up. <laughs> okay, cheers, gang. Making me look stupid. Mm. Oh have to fight my that troll. god. Or avoid it altogether. It's a little bit late for that, isn't it? Damn. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, he got me. Okay, great. Fantastic. Bombarder. That is one big fan troll. A little bit dizzy. Bombarder. Is it two swings or is it two swings? Oh. Where the hell did that go? I managed to deflect it back. Swing surprisingly quick. Oh. Definitely starting to use my potions now. Oh. What? Potato. Stupid. Bombarder. 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 I was pressing it. Damn you. There we go. Ancient magic. We do much. A little bit dizzy. Bombarder. You stupid mountain troll. Yes. Oh. She's not there in the end. London. Oh, where are we? I can't even see that purple circle. Rebellion. Anymore. Things I do for friends. Yeah, I think it's back up here. Yeah, I guess we've got to sneak past. I don't know. Bombarda. Bombarda. <laughs> it sounds so evil when he says it. But I love it. Anything good in here? What was that? I just need to start to try to spike me. Maybe I'm getting paranoid. Maybe it's just these plants. I've not even found one letter yet. Sort of hoping all the letters are clumped together, but... I guess we'll see. Is that blood on the wall? Ah, here we go. Dear Sabrona, when I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess, I worried Hogwarts might not have been the proper place for me and my pondered sending an owl, pondered sending an owl to my parents, asking them to fetch me almost before the first week of classes had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly a legit... Was that legitimate? But I wonder that you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day in free broomsticks, when you spotted me huddled in the corner, staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty bit of parchment, my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor, you came to sit with me. Well, I shall never forget. I recall a sudden sense of relief as if someone had a cast, a levitation charm on me. When you told me about how nervous you'd been, to come to Hogwarts, I looked at you, and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but the confident, contented witch sitting before me. Um, okay. 
and I know it's because you saw yourself in that despising creature in the corner of the pub. P.S. Please tell Miss Sprottle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Sprottle whenever I can. But well, we seem to have all the lessons. that's everything. Yep. Sorona will be glad to have this back. Sorona will be very, very happy. Let's return the letters and hopefully we get a little bit of XP and hopefully she's happy about receiving her letters. Plus, Miss Sprout seems happy as well, so that's good. It all ended well, didn't it? We should be able to fast travel back to Hogsmeade. The famous free broomsticks. We have returned with the box of letters. There we go. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. So what I do best. Um, should we ask about the letters? We can do. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Um, are Mrs. Was that are Mrs. Sprouts and you close as you see? I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. <laughs> she taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is! Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Damn. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. Happy to help. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. I almost got killed from by a mountain troll for that, so... Yes. <laughs> there we go. And we got to level 24, which was the main purpose, I guess. Oh, so we get HP every time we um, level up. Okay, I didn't even know that. That is how stupid I am. We haven't really touched on the dark arts yet, have we? Um, does that come up soon, or is that more of like a side objective potentially i don't know thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode the next quest is available and that will be for the next episode bye bye